Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a detailed video on Kaveri engine in which we spoke about the program in great details. There are also one update and it was related to the testing of the engine. The dry Kaveri engine or Kaveri engine without afterburner is soon to be tested in Russia which is expected in near 3 to 4 months time. The Minister of State for Defence Ajay Bhatt has also spoken about this program in Raj Sabha on Monday. As per the response from MP Ajay Bhatt, Cabinet Committee on Security CCS sanctioned Kaveri engine project in 1989, the following milestones were achieved. First, nine full prototype engines and four core engines built. 3,217 hours of engine testing conducted. It completed altitude tests and flying test bed trials. This is the first trial that an indigenously developed military gas turbine was flight tested. Kaveri engine project has achieved higher technology readiness level TRL, in many critical technology domains and those technologies are being used in various engine development programs of the country. Further, the engines are used as test vehicles for validating next generation technologies. The total fund allocated for this program is Rs 2105 crore. Total expenditure is Rs 2035.56 crore and funds committed is 2097.65 crore. At present, the LCA Tejas is integrated with an imported engine. However, in future, it is proposed to develop indigenous engines for powering our own aircrafts such as LCA variants and MK in association with an international engine house. The technological capabilities built through Kaveri engine project will be utilized. LCA Tejas flight operational clearance FOC configuration demands higher thrust than the intended engine requirement. Hence, Kaveri in the present architecture cannot be integrated. In order to induct with LCA Tejas, a modified engine version is required. This was the update which was recently published. Now let's look into the update on Kaveri engine given in 2012 by the then Defence Minister A.K. Antony. As for him, the progress made by Kaveri engine development projects are as follows. First, so far 9 prototypes of Kaveri engine and 4 prototypes of Kabini core engine have been developed. 2200 hours of test ground and altitude conditions have been conducted. The two major milestones achieved are successful completion of official altitude testing and demonstration of first block of flight of Kaveri engine in flying test bed. Kaveri engine was integrated with IL-76 aircraft at GFRI Russia and flight tests were successfully carried out up to 12 km 39,000 feet maximum altitude and maximum forward speed of 0.7 Mach. 27 flights for 57 hours duration have been completed. Now if we compare these two updates, the only new update is the hours of testing performed on Kaveri engine. In 2012, it was reported to be 2200 hours and now it is 3217 hours. There is no other significant information from the recent statement by Ministry of Defence. One of the major issues with Kaveri engine was afterburner screech problem. The engine had exhibited decayed performance at high altitude, inadequate thrust, excessive weight and a mysterious sound. GTRE has performed lot of research on the screech problem. The screech issue occurs due to incomplete combustion of fuel or you can say if the fuel is not completely burnt and some residue is left. It is still not clear at the moment if this problem has been solved. The main reason why DRDO is still struggling with Kaveri engine is a lack of knowledge on modern low bypass turbofan LBTF engine. 
The world class LBTF requires world class infrastructure for development, testing, know how, and know why, which takes decades and tens to hundreds of billions of dollars in investment. None of the government had appetite for such a huge investment as it does not buy any votes. The 110 kN engine typically costs around $10 million, whereas the developmental cost of engine will be close to $50 to $100 billion. DRDO has already spent 20 plus billions over 20 years, which is one tenth of the funds allocated by major players in the world. It is time for DRDO to give realistic picture to government if it can deliver a gas turbine engine to power the future jets of Indian Air Force within the given time frame and budget. The private players such as Safran and Rolls Royce must be involved at all levels to provide their expertise to solve the engine problem. There is a need for a realistic goal and intent by government to achieve this in next 10 years, failing to which I don't see India will still be able to field its operational jet engine. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.